Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Well, uh, we are at level 80. I have a few things to buy for stock. I don't know if that stock is going to get me to level 81. The reason we want to get to level 81 is so we can get more licenses. But we do have a bit of money saved, so let's get stuck in. If we go to the computer and uh, have a look at the licenses, there are four licenses that unlock with level 81. I've been looking at the first one and possibly the last one. I haven't decided yet. The other two are cleaning products and, and books. So not too stressed about that at the moment. But yeah, most likely this one first. There's seven products. It'll give me an idea of what has to be done in, this, in the shop. But as you can see, I've changed the the layout around a little bit. I've got all this space that I don't know what to do with yet. Obviously, this is not the final layout of the store because we've got we have more expansions to do. So let's start off by getting rid of this block and turning our store into a square. Growth and section 14 purchase. The next one is 64,500. And there we go we have more space. So I'm going to put those up against this wall. One there. And this one can go next to it. I may change this again. I just think it's pretty normal for the, the cleaning stuff and the personal hygiene stuff to be at the back of the store. Anyway, I've, I've made little compartments here. This is the drink section. And we have the kind of uh, cold food section and meat. Then we have potatoes because I really don't have anywhere else to put them. Got the chips and the sweets. Got some cakes. There are more cakes in the next license that we unlock, so that'll be nice. And then the party drinks on the side. Obviously the freezers here and pretty much everything else is the same. So what I'm going to do quickly is just restock my storeroom. See where that takes us. And just to get the slider at the top right, I am just going to order one product that I need. I think I need one potato. Okay, so now you can see how close we are to level 81. So yeah, like I said, I don't think buying stock is going to get me there, but possibly going through the day. And the numbers are getting pretty nice. So yeah, I'm just going to run through restock and I'll be right back. Right, we are pretty much restocked. Uh, barely moved the needle on the store level, so... Let's open the store and run a day. And I was it was suggested that I, I do this, get a get a top down view for my time lapse. Put the lights on and there we go. Alright, we are really close now. Almost the end of the day and oh, we're, we just hit uh, store level 81. So perfect. Lost a couple of customers in here. We are at level 81. That means that... Uh, well, I'm not going to end the day just yet. Let's go and unlock a license, shall we? It's been a while. Two cakes, chips, chocolate spread, two soda cans, six packs and another bottled water. That is the one and... Purchase. Good stuff. I'll just go and have a look at the new stuff at the bottom of our list. 
So I'm going to get one of each so that I can find places for all of them. As I normally do. Just order them. I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning to finish the order. Looks like everybody is done. So uh, yeah, let's finish the day. 94 customers. Two products found expensive. Uh, I think I might have forgotten to update prices. Income 8,200. Looking pretty good. Store level points are going well. Wasn't a great day overall, but uh, we did spend a lot of money. So we have uh, a balance of 40,000. So let's start the next day. Clotted cream, ice cream, and ice cream. 6.2, and that's all the prices updated. Let's go and finish that order and have a look at where we're going to put these new products. Okay, soda cans. They go on a shelf, not in the fridge. Okay, well, I don't really have an ideal spot for them. So what I'll do is I'll go and buy a shelf. And we're just going to put it in the same sort of area as the rest of our drinks. There you go. All the six packs are up. And I'm going to just price them as I put them in. Just because I keep forgetting to do it. And that is another six pack. Something's going to have to move here. And I will need another shelf again. And we'll just whack this one right in over there. Now, ideally, I'd like to have all the chips together, but yeah, that's, uh, I'll have to move them afterwards. Right, we have chocolate spread, and I think I'll just put it with the peanut butter. All right, so another box of those will be needed. And these are the new cakes, which will go onto the cake shelf. And another new cake, and I'm forgetting to do the pricing again. And the last thing is the water. And I do have a space in this fridge. Yeah, I probably want to move the orange juice down, but I don't think I have orange juice boxes right now, so... Alas, this will be the way it is. All right, so before I go on, I'm going to change the prices. I think that's all of them. What have I forgotten? And I think now, I think this is it. Right, so I've ordered enough to fill shelves where I need to and also to make sure that I've got stuff in stock so I can allocate shelf space to them. So let me go and grab all of this and put it where it's supposed to be. Okay, I've got all of that set up, but I haven't bought new stock. I have a, I have quite a few empty spaces on my shelves, so I'm going to have to redo that. I'll be right back. The storeroom is stocked again, all filled up. I've got a whole lot of extra stuff um, filling up sort of the smaller things. The extra meat was pretty costly, but we have it in stock now, so that's good. That means we are ready to start another day. Now, I'm not sure if I should do this yet, but I'm thinking to get a fifth checkout. Reason for that is uh, somebody's going to need to man it. But then that's going to make doing the time lapses pretty impossible. The, the shelves are all stocked. Bridges are stocked. All the products are on the shelves. Everything is looking strong. So let us begin another day.
Right, so the last two customers are busy getting done and just a couple of things I'd like to note. I did go through and sort out all the prices, so there shouldn't be any more price issues. I did find two products that I'd obviously missed, but I'm going to focus on getting the, the next product licenses. I do have enough money to get one, uh, but then I may not be able to restock. As far as the expansions go, I think anything beyond this size for me right now, even with new products coming in, is totally unnecessary. I might need to make space for, you know, because the numbers are increasing, make space for another register. But even so, there's so much space available the way we set up now. I've got things sort of spaced out a bit and it's still, there's still space for things. So those last expansions might just be a nice to have, but not completely necessary. Anyway, uh, yeah, we, we did have uh, from about 8 p.m. onwards, there were a few people that said that the queues were full. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. I have no idea if it actually affects things at all, but I don't think it's a huge train smash because as soon as they start saying that the queues are full, uh, someone cashes out and then everything is sorted again. So I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, let's end the day and see how we did. Oh, that's a big one. That's my biggest customer haul so far. 102 customers. But income is down. Now, I'm starting to think that maybe my pricing strategy is wrong. I mean, with all the new products, people are buying a lot more stuff. And that's obviously going to slow the queue down as I add more products. So it takes the cashiers longer to check out and it obviously makes for longer queues. But I mean, this should be going up even more. I mean, I think I've been sort of stuck in this area. I've had a couple of outlier days at about 9,000. Uh, but yeah, for the last sort of maybe 10 levels, I don't know. Maybe that's just how it is. But I suppose if I increased my prices a bit, this would also increase. Anyway, steak, ham, pastry, and tuna. So I'll just remember to update those prices. Yeah, storage isn't looking too bad. Still not entirely sure if this is the best layout. But I, I do have I do have space. I mean, this whole rack is open. Those two slots at the top are open. There's four up there. There's a whole bunch up here. So I don't think I have to worry about new products because there there are there are holes that I can fill. There's more up here as well. Another one over there. A few up there. So as far as new products go, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with the current layout. If it does become a problem, then I'm going to have to look at changing it. But it, it works nicely because it's it's an easy in and out. I think it takes the longest amount of time now is basically just ordering, well, checking what needs to be ordered, ordering, and then bringing the stuff to the shelves. But I suppose one day the developer might sort that out and do something cool. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know about the pricing. What do you guys think of the pricing? Because right now I'm pricing everything. I, I did do a few days of experimenting with higher prices and got a, a couple of gripes, but I'm currently going, um, I'm rounding down to the closest five cents below market price. And I'm not having any complaints, obviously, because the prices are good, but maybe I should be pricing higher, 10 or 20%. I uh, will have to check that out. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, cheers.